am making some after school snacks today. Danny and Elijah are on vacation right now. <laughs> hey everybody, what is up? Welcome to another vlog. You guys, today I got laundry to do, per usual. <laughs> That is all clean laundry, you guys, that I have to fold, but I have to start off my day. Kids are at school, I need to go. I'm taking a friend to the airport. You guys might know her, Chelsea from Life As We Go Miss. I am taking her to the airport today, and then coming back and hoping to conquer this laundry. I feel like every time I say I'm gonna do laundry, there's something that pops up that makes it so I can't get laundry done. So we'll see you guys, we'll see if I can get to it, hopefully get it all folded and stuff, and then I have even more in the washer and dryer. So. Gotta get that done today, gotta get some cleanup done. Honestly, today I'm gonna kind of just, as soon as I get back home, just spend the day like cleaning up, picking up, getting things done because yesterday I wasn't able to do as much since I was in my car majority of the day. So anyways, that is what's going on so far today, you guys. Danny should be home from work here in a little bit and we're gonna get this day going. All right, you guys, so I am making some after school snacks today. So Danny actually cut up these apples <laughs> and we're just rolling up some salami. They're gonna have some salami bites because number one, let's hope there's any left after Elijah gets home. <laughs> because he loves his salami. So I'm just doing something simple, apples. We don't have string cheese, otherwise we could cut up some string cheese and put it in here. So apples, salami, and then probably some veggie sticks, just keeping it super simple. All right, you guys, so here is what I have for school snacks today. We've got apple salami. I actually made just some little sandwich bites with peanut butter and jelly, and then there's some with just peanut butter, and then some veggie sticks. So. That is the after school lunch for today, you guys. If you guys are looking for more ideas, in yesterday's video, I also showed you guys what I made for after school snacks, just to kind of give you guys some ideas and stuff. You guys have mentioned that you really like to have ideas for after school snacks, and I don't mind putting their snacks together for them while they're at school, you guys, because honestly, it's so nice for them just to come home and be able to grab snacks instead of like, have to make stuff themselves after a long day at school. So I am happy to serve them in that way. And um, honestly, it helps them from keeping to having to go into the pantry, get a snack, eat it, get another snack. So this kind of helps just like eliminate all of that. We will see what everybody ends up wanting, eating. Yesterday's snacks were completely gone after they got home and it worked out perfectly. <music> to see me that he's running or he was running hey bud Hi. how was school Good. yeah yeah you... i just ran out of the school because i tried to get out of there quick but did you get a book yeah oh what'd you get it's called grenade grenade i was looking for a different book but they didn't have it at the book fair so I just read the back of this. It seems pretty good. Pretty good. All right, Elijah washing up, getting ready for some snacks. Yep. Okay, so overall good day. It's hot outside. <laughs> I was melting just walking to get you. Oh, there goes the apple. There goes the apple. First thing, there it is. And then Say the good. salami. Wow, oh, I knew it. I knew the salami. I had to, it's so good. I know. So good day? Yeah. Yeah, had a test today. Mm -hmm. Tests are always fun. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> finish it today, but. You'll finish it tomorrow? Yeah. Nice. How was your head, by the way? People are all wondering. It was fine. Honestly, it healed overnight, so it's not bad. There's just a little tiny bump there the still, bump, but... Like, if I put too much pressure on it, obviously it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, if I, like, try to fix my hair, and the pressure went on Oh, like you're that, like, oh, you forget it's there. Yeah, it would hurt, but... Hey, it's looking a lot better than it looked yesterday, though, so that's good. Yeah. All right, we got Ash here snacking, snacking, and snacking, and snacking. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna go for those veggie sticks. Mm -hmm. So are the veggie straws better with, so these are the ranch flavor, or zesty ranch, better than the plain ones, or the plain ones better? I think so. Which one? Ranch. <laughs> with the ranch? But you like it dipped in hummus. Mmm. Mmm. So she's gonna, Probably eat all of those, you guys. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter how old you get, you guys. You always like little snackies after school. Yeah. <laughs> all right, MZ is now home from school. How was your day? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Woo. So she grabbed a salami, you guys. She, oop, got the last one. There it is. <laughs> we gotta eat up these apples before they get even more brown. <laughs> But you also got a book from the book fair. Mm, let me go get yeah, some. Yeah. I right. actually got two. 
One for $11 and one for $2. Ooh, let's see which ones you got. You got some books? Yes, okay. I like it. So this one I didn't buy, but I checked it out and I have to give it back. Oh, wait, what's that called? It's called The Unwanted. Unwanted, okay. I read the blurb and it seemed really good. Okay. I'm gonna save my favorite one for last. Okay. So this one's called Hounds Hollow. And I read the blurb, it was also really cool. It's kind of like a creepier book. Oh, you and your creepy books. And it was only $2. Hey, that's pretty good. And this one, we, uh, for our book fair thing, we watched a video and we watched the one about this book. Uh huh. And I got it. It's called Ground Zero. Oh. So it's basically about how a boy has to try to survive and save his dad because of the 9 11, and a girl who's trying to survive in, I think it's Afghanistan. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And I've read a couple pages so far, and there's like 302 pages. You think you're going to be able to finish it? Yes. You think it's going to be I mean, interesting? Oh, my gosh. It already is. And I'm only on page five. Wow. So, so you got a lot of reading to do. Yes. That is awesome. I always love seeing that. Yes. And, and that's a perfect book right now since 9 11's coming up, huh? Yeah. And then um, I like how there's two stories in it, which I thought was really cool. Oh, it has two different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because. Uh, but it it's telling both. it kind of all at once, or? Uh, well, first one is the Ground Zero, the 9 11. I think. The 9-11 is going to be like the first story because that's what it is so far. And I think once that story is done, um, it'll be about the girl in Afghanistan. Wow. So, yeah. Awesome. Good job. I can't wait to see you reading more and more and more. Yes. Well, you already have to read 30 minutes for school every day. Yes. Cause so. That's my homework. So, you can either listen to an audio book. You can... Or read 30 minutes, and I think so. I've been listening to an audiobook, but now I'm definitely gonna be reading. <laughs> getting frozen yogurt as you guys just saw so we just needed to get out of the house and go do something so we are here I got the uh, what is this the Dole Whip and the watermelon Dole Whip and then what kind did you get girl I got peanut butter and chocolate with some nut uh, peanuts and uh, these little Reese's uh, things I forgot what they're called Reese's that pieces super rich mm -hmm. is it so good, good though yeah Totally Emberlin style. What'd you get? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay. Oh Pineapple. yeah, you did. <laughs> Pineapple ice cream. Would you get cookie dough bites? Mm-hmm. Wow, good call. Gummy worms, gummy bears, graham cracker, cracker. Yeah. and popping boba. Ethan's just waiting on his slushie, right? Yeah. Anything on his slushie? Danny and uh, hi guys. Hi. Danny and Elijah are on vacation right now. Yeah. <laughs> They're at the Caribbean or something. <laughs> so what'd you end up getting? I got the cheesecake Ooh. with um, little bits of Heath bar with strawberry and graham crackers. Ooh. Lige, what about you, dude? Mint chocolate chip on the top, uh, vanilla in the middle, and watermelon donut on the bottom. Nice. Well, you two enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Boom. And this was Ethan's go-to order. So what kind is this? Um, blue raspberry? Blue raspberry and pink one, baby. Ooh, that's probably good, dude. So you guys, right now, we're all trying to think of different things to, like posters and signs to make for Braden when he gets back home. We found a banner that we want made, which is gonna be pretty cool. It's kind of like the, the missionary badge with his name and welcome home and then the state of Oregon on it. So we're looking at that. We're gonna have one of our friends probably make that on, at, with his uh, from his sign shop. And um, yeah, but there's some pretty funny ones that they're coming out with. Like, what was Ethan saying? Oregon for two years, welcome home. <laughs> so you guys, we would like for you guys to comment down below, leave your clever, funny um, poster, like quote, like, or welcome, welcome home. home, leave that down below. And 
we just might use it for one of our posters. So we've got Emberlyn right now. She's doing her, Emberlyn's doing her math right now. All right, so here we go. We are gonna go with, Emberlyn's here. We're gonna round it from, we have to go to nearest tens. So that'd be 690. 690 minus 50. Okay. 690, so that'd be 640. Let's see. Yes. Boom! Good job, MZ! Wow, this is a nice little reading room that you have here. Yes, it's the home we can have to read 30 minutes and have this little bookmark thing and you have to like fill it out and uh, stuff. So this is my last Last day, day for this week, and I'm reading Ground Zero, and I'm on, I don't know what chapter I'm on because it doesn't say, but I'm on page 16. And it's actually really cool because, it's, like I told you guys, it's about two stories, and so first story, it's about 9-11 um, and stuff, and it's about this boy named um, Brandon. I don't really know how to pronounce it, pronounce this. I think it's Reshmina. 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 However you pronounce this, but that's a, and this one's about the Afghanistan, and it ended off in the worst clip cliffhanger ever that chapter and now i'm going back to brandon oh my goodness so, so it kind of switches off each chapter it yeah, seems each like each chapter it goes to the next person and does that story the next chapter it just keeps on going until the book's done but you like it so far yes it's actually really good both stories are really good and over here you have your what do you call this well it says it's uh, 30 minutes of focus music so I have to, I did 30 minutes, so when that's done, I'll know that I'm done reading. So you like to have that on when you read? It helps you focus? Actually, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, let's see if we can listen. That's pretty calming. Yeah, comment down <laughs> below if you heard that. <laughs> yeah, focus music. Okay, focus I like music. it. All right, well, enjoy your book, because after that, you got a whole <laughs> laundry to take to your room. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You can, you, can, you can listen to your focus music while you take your laundry to your room, too. I'll let you do that. Okay. Okay. And guys, yes, I do recommend this book. Definitely Ground Zero, guys, by Alan Gratz. Yes, awesome. Ground Zero. Very nice. Oh.